I'm the facilitator for this street art in the skate park project funded by Take Apart Carlo in affiliation with the Carlo Youth Services. Before the project, there was questionable or unnecessary or not thought out, really, artwork that was down in the skate park. One of the main pluses for me is seeing that some of the kids who were taking part in the project were actually the same kids who were doing some of the graffiti in the skate park before the project. To actually get some of these kids down and taking part and be able to show them some of the skills with a spray can that will undoubtedly make them think next time in terms of what they're putting out there, but also give them some skills to do it with too. We were talking with the skaters in the skate park and one thing that came up is that they wanted arrows on the floor to show that the skate park wasn't just a one-way circuit for people to go around because it's all about creativity and finding your own line within the skate park. So it was something that they thought would be quite important to do. Some of the kids couldn't believe that they were down there and they could do this. And it was joyful for them and it was joyful for me to see the kids and having the opportunity to do a project like this. Today we just did a bunch of arrows graffitiing. Basically we, so we had paper and then we graffitied over that and there's like a shape cut out. It, it's nice because you don't spend your evenings and stuff like at home doing nothing, playing video games and all. You come out here to like spray paint and it's really fun. Definitely I would recommend this place. It's sick, it's free to do it. It's just so much fun and you can meet so much new people. It's really great. One of the big positive aspects of this project is the notion of crossing boundaries. There was kids down there who wouldn't normally engage with each other, would they be in separate groups, but yet they were creating artwork together. Try to open yourself to new experiences. For me, a lot of the time, I was scared to start new things because I didn't know anyone. A lot of the people who are doing this don't know anyone there either. It's easier when you actually get into it and try it instead of just blocking it off before you even start it. So I've learned a couple of days about hand control and the way to kind of move yourself when you're spraying. Like even with stencils, if you're too close it won't dry or it'll drip. That don't direct the can underneath the edge. So if you're on this side, spray coming in this way. Because the thing is with yellow, it's not very opaque. It's kind of more see-through than other colours, so you need more of a build-up. So what we could do is we'll do this yellow, let that dry a bit, go back and do another layer over then. Okay, we'll build up to see them using spray paints as a medium for exploration through play I found was valuable and actually contributed to get people thinking about the creative process a bit more and how we can bridge the gap between what would be termed as graffiti or what would be termed as street art. What this can do now is give some of the kids skills but also raise the level so that when people go down and create an artwork in the skate park it's done with that feeling of community. It's done with that feeling of responsibility towards that community. And it's done with a sense of ownership in a positive way rather than ownership in a negative way.